In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do anything you could possibly want to do to resize, to flip, to crop, move around your webcam or your camera in OBS Studio to get it exactly where you want it and to only show the audience the parts of your camera that you want to show in the software. Okay, so your first step is to make sure that it's actually unlocked here in the sources section of OBS so that you can actually manipulate it. Gray unlock icon means you can move it around and mess with it. White lock icon means you can't do anything with it. Unlock it. Then once you want to actually manipulate the source, you can click it here in sources and you see how the red box popped up around it here on the edges and it exposed these red squares. Though Those allow you to resize the source as you see fit. So let's say you wanted to make it smaller. I recommend grabbing the corner like right up here and then dragging in from the corner, click and drag down from the corner to resize your webcam and put it in the corner. So let's say I wanted my webcam to be over here on this side. I resized it by grabbing the corner and I moved it around by clicking on it and then dragging it where I wanted it to go. Very simple stuff, right? But oh man, the side of my webcam shows part of my home studio back there behind my green screen that I don't want people to see. How do I crop that out? I don't want people to see it. Probably common, right? So click on the webcam, go to the side square right here. See the little square on the side of your webcam right here? Go to that side square or the top square and you can actually crop the top and the bottom of your webcam to get rid of content you don't want. Hold down the Alt key and then drag in the side. And you see how it, it removed that content I didn't want to show on the side of my webcam. Pretty cool, right? Now when you move it around, now when you resize it from the corner, that content is gone and you're not showing audiences a piece of your bedroom or your home studio or your office that you don't want to show. Okay, there are other ways to manipulate your webcam though to get it just right. So you can drag your webcam actually out of frame, as you can see here. See the stripes over here on the side? That lets you know that part of your webcam is out of the frame and that's okay. Let's say I didn't wanna show that part of my background. I could actually drag it out of frame and the audience will only be able to see what you see here in the preview window and the remainder of your webcam still exists it's just out of the frame now, and now your audience can only see the part that's within the frame. Very cool, right? There's other features you can use. So let's say I'm looking this way while I'm doing my tutorial and talking to my audience, but that makes me look like I'm looking away from the content that's on the screen over there, right? That's awkward. So what we can do is actually flip the webcam source so it makes it look like we're looking toward the content. It makes it look like we're looking toward what's here on the screen. Check this out. Go ahead and click the webcam, right click, go to transform, and you can actually flip horizontal is the way that you fix this problem. So if I'm looking this way toward my content, check it out, I flip horizontal, now it makes me look like I'm looking that way toward the content. Once you flip it, you'll need to reconfigure it and manipulate it. So I may want to hold down alt in this example and crop this side like this and boom. Now when I'm looking toward my content, it looks like I'm looking toward what's on the screen, just as an example of how you can manipulate your webcam. But wait, there's more. You can right click your webcam and if you wanted to manually change any of these settings that I just told you to the pixel, right click, transform, and go to edit transform. It'll pull up this transformation menu that has a ton of different options here. So you can manually adjust the positioning, the rotation, the size. You can even crop the left to the pixel, crop the top to the pixel, crop the bottom to the pixel, you name it. All of those things we just did with our mouse just a moment ago are down to the pixel here in this menu if you really want to make this crop absolute perfection. I'll let you explore this. And you hit close when you're done with that. Let's say you made some changes to your webcam and it's just all messed up. You just don't like the way it turned out and you want to start from scratch all over again. What you can do is right click on the source, go to transform and go to reset transform and boom, it'll pop it back to the original configuration that you had and you can start from scratch again. A couple quick features that are available that may be handy to you. So let's say I move 
this and I'm, I, I got my webcam here and I want it to kind of be in the center of the screen, but it's not quite, is it exactly center? I don't know. Right click, go to transform, and you can do center to screen, and it'll put you right in the middle of the screen. Pretty cool, right? You can also do a similar feature to center it vertically, or you can do a similar feature to center it horizontally. Pretty cool. What I do not recommend ever with your webcam is within the transformation menu, going to transform and never stretch to screen. If you stretch it to your screen, it will potentially make your, your aspect ratio wrong, and it'll make your face stretched out, it'll make you look weird. If you ever want to make your webcam full screen again quickly, I recommend using fit to, stream, to screen, and it'll fit your webcam to the size of the screen if you wanna go full screen. I know there is a lot to cover here. There's a lot more you can do with webcams than that, and cameras and DSLRs you've hooked up to your computer, and I'm happy to help. AWOLDigital.com is my website. Schedule one-on-one -on -one coaching with me. I've been a technical director for the last 15 years, doing multi-million dollar events for a living, both online and in person, and I'm happy to help you with your YouTube strategy, your social media strategy. Just pick your day, pick your time, give me some brief details about what you're looking to accomplish, and boom, I'm on a call with you, helping you one-on-one. -on -one. In fact, right now, in three minutes, I'm about to hop on one of these such calls with a huge TV host that needs me to help her with her home studio. Adios, amigos.